Good afternoon, Marketers. I'm going to be sharing with you how to log into Google Classroom. So you can follow along with me on the screen. Um, it'll show exactly what it's going to look like for you on your Chromebooks or at your on-home computer. So your screen is going to look like this when you log into Clever. If you scroll down towards the bottom of your screen, you're going to notice that there's a new icon called Google Classroom. The picture on your icon may look a little different, but click on the one that says Google Classroom. And when you click on it, if it takes you to this blank screen, that means you are logged in to a different Google account. Example, if you're using your parents' computer or a computer that you share with your other siblings, you're not logged into the right Google account. So if you click on your picture, move this down, and you click on your Google account, it will take you to a page that looks like this. Now, mine has a lot of different pages on it because I'm a teacher and I have a lot of different classrooms. Yours should have just one called G3 Distance Learning, or for if you're G4, or G5, it'll have that. And it's by a different teacher that you've never heard of, but that's okay. Another Rocketeer of ours, click on that. And when you click on it, it should take you to this page. Now, if it asks you for a class code, um, you will be getting a message to your parents' phones with our individual class code, but it shouldn't ask you for the class code but if it does, please check in with your guardians at home. Um, you'll notice at the top of the page, it says stream. This is where you can see in real time, kind of like a social media feed, what is being uploaded onto your classroom. At the top, you can also arrange it by class. So you have all of your math work in one place and all of your ELA work in another place. You can also see who is listed inside your classroom and you can see your grades. I can see the whole classroom. You should only see yours as we go on through the next couple weeks. So again, all of your information is going to be posted. I find it easier in classroom. Your first assignment is for this week. So if you click on this week's, it's going to take you to a couple different links. I think you should start off with one that says directions. And in your directions, it's going to give you a list for each day what you should be doing. So you can check off what you need to do for the day. So for today, just trying to figure out your Google Classroom, looking through it, getting familiar with it, um, reading the directions and watching the introduction to Google Classroom video that can help you figure out some of the more intricate things you can do online. For the next couple of days, what we're hoping to see from everyone is that you're doing your TPU multiple choice work. Um, what's not listed here, but should also be included is you're listening to the daily read alouds you're going to hear from your teachers. Um, you'll have guided practice videos and an ed site login for you. You will have a different teacher, not our rocket ship teacher for this week, but a different teacher teaching you things for right now um, to do every single day. And um, your performance task, if you don't want to do it on the computer, you can do it inside your packet that was sent home with you. You have a language word also inside your packet, but also on Google Classroom. And then your OLPs, teachers will be checking on your um, minutes that you're completing daily, and we will be calling you once a week to check in with you, um, maybe more about what you're doing um, and give you feedback. So look forward to those calls. Now I'm going to go back to my screen here. All right, so if you have any questions, please reach out to me here in the comments on Facebook. You can reach out to your teachers who can help you. Um, but I hope this quick tutorial was helpful on how to log in families. Have a great time at home. Stay safe out there.